Hey you! Today's video, I'm gonna make some stickers. I'm making DIY stickers that don't involve my printer. <laughs> so, last week I made this really cute alligator picture with King Art alcohol markers, and I thought it would make beautiful stickers. And so I came back and sat down and started filming this with the total intention of making swamp animal stickers and i had this whole list of animals and what poses i was gonna do and then i set my to-do list down on my desk before i started recording and i saw a doodle that i'd made it was uh different types of toast and i was like it's done this is happening i'm doing breakfast foods <laughs> so i threw away my idea and i'm making breakfast foods for y'all today um why did I not just print the alligator onto my printer paper and make stickers that way? Because my printer paper, sticker printer paper doesn't go through my printer. I mean, it kind of does. It will print onto it, but it doesn't feed through it properly. I think it's, it's too nice. It's too thick. Heart stock, it's the coolest thing ever. But my printer doesn't work on it because I teach kids who, the children I teach are younger than my printer and it goes through the, the paper I am coloring on goes through the printer and when it spits it out after sounding like it was dying the entire time it gives me this like a short squat version of what I was trying to print <laughs> smear and so I've been having this paper sit around and do you know what you can draw on sticker printer paper mind blown and it handles alcohol markers really nicely this is the brand i have i in filming didn't think to show the brand well enough so i threw the picture up on there so you you could know if you would desire to hand draw stickers it was kind of really enjoyable and cathartic to me i went back again and used the same box of alcohol markers that i did for the last time uh, last video and i don't know if i noticed or not that there's little like squares in the bottom of the packaging that the markers fit into it holds them upright so they don't fall over so freaking cool I would buy this set of markers again purely for that packaging. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Markers are nice to work with. I did notice that it didn't have a chocolate brown or a good orange, which I sort of struggled when it came to like... I wanted to make coffee and I didn't... But I did sort of come up with a good enough dark brown color for the chocolate frosting for my donuts and there also wasn't a very nice orange there's this color called milk white that was orangey which i don't love the name of it it bothers me it, i would never think of an orange color for milk white if there's some sort of historical connection let me know maybe i should look it up on the internet <laughs> i probably won't And that would make sense, but I think I came up with a pretty good workaround layering the... <laughs> oh goodness, I'm so sorry. I've been talking for like 45 minutes straight at this point in time with the various voices. <laughs> I've been talking on the phone that I've been doing. And I am not a woman of that many words, so forgive me. Okay, but layering the colors, I think I did a good job in layering the colors. The paper took it nice, and the markers did well. And I think that it isn't a bad idea to just use colors in the same family and mix colors, because it keeps the colors that you make within that world, and you get kind of like color scheme going, and that is a trick that I was told to make your colors more co cohesive is mix a little bit of them into each other and the conversation that the colors have with each other is more relatable. Yes. I don't know if I'm talking too metaphorically. Forgive me if I'm if I am. But 
yeah. Okay, so I talked about the marker and the, the thing, the Chizu ish things that I noticed that I enjoyed about them the box and the colors. I talked about the paper. I, my brain is not working. Right. I'm trying to remember what the other thing. I, I don't know if this was the other thing that I wanted to talk about. My list is in front of me. It's one of those days. But that pencil over on the side is a smencil. And I love it so much. My other half got me those. There's like a set multiple colors of the unicorn with the pastel markers. And they are scented. There's like ones that look like traditional pencils and the, the paper wood portion of those smell like different things and I, I, the plastic is scented with mechanical ones and they are both so great for me. Uh, I don't know why but when I use them I will stop and I'll take deep breaths to smell them and it, I find that it helps me to relax. Uh, I, after having discovered the Smensels with a school fundraiser, I think I spent like twenty dollars and bought every flavor they had. Uh, after I uh, have did that, I will when I'm not doing things with, that requires pencils. I'll get a candle and I'll light it by me. I have caught my hair on fire, so don't put it too. <laughs> to where you're going put it you know on the table on the other side if you're let's see I am. but I find that it, it's something that really helps to calm and relax me which I'm not gonna lie is a struggle and if you would like to have more peace and calm in your life whether you are anxious in nature or not, it's a good hack. I highly recommend it. Oh, and here I am. I'm going through and coloring the beverage portion. Oh my gosh. Somebody asked me for the little coffee sticker. I am totally floored. I don't know if you ever give away stuff or sell stuff, but there is nothing so rewarding. In terms of compliments, is somebody being like, yeah, I want to let, live with that as part of my everyday life. A little coffee sticker is on the front of somebody's computer now. <laughs> oh, and see, here you can see that orange. I took the marker called Milk White from this set. I don't know why an orangey color is called Milk White. Maybe there's a historical reason behind that. Maybe there isn't. I didn't want, like, I haven't thought about it hard enough to go find my phone <laughs> up on the internet. But if y'all know, let me know. <laughs> but adding some yellow to that marker color, I think, really made a nice orange that works for my thing. I have moved on to sprinkles, which... I didn't always like to do sprinkles in my breakfast spreads because they didn't ever really look natural. And then some YouTuber who I have long forgotten their name recommended to like really stop and look when you're doing things that are supposed to be randomized, like snow and stars. That in nature, like some areas are spread out and have a lot of space around them and some place area has nothing in it and some areas have a whole bunch of things all together and if you do everything all spaced out you get kind of like consistently you get polka dots and i was doing that and ever since i've done what that youtuber was talking about some that were spaced out some that are all clumped together some that are just empty i think that my random scattered things look so much better i highly recommend and i really enjoy drawing things like starry skies and sprinkles on page now just from having that little hack <laughs> isn't that silly 
I thought I was going to do like little white dots on that orange and it just wasn't working with my alcohol markers. I end up going back with a gel pen. Highly recommend to use one with alcohol markers or Posca markers. I'm not sure which one I use. I like the fine tip Posca markers as well but they're a little bit harder to find where I live. I have to drive all the way into the city <laughs> to, get, to get anything besides like jelly rolls, rollers, gel, gel, gel pens that are white. There we go. Um, forgive this waffle. I have no idea if it really looks like a waffle or not. I feel like it resembles a waffle. Like I did it off of like just memory. I, I was doing this at like 12.30 at night at this point in time. And before I gave up for the day, I I did the waffle. And, I'm, and I don't know if that's actually how waffles look. I feel like it definitely feels like how a waffle... The impression thereof. <laughs> and and I, I quit for the night. The... What is that thing? Oh my gosh, it's a blender. The blender was a, a a different night after work. And I'm glad I did. I've been struggling with this little blender. It was like a must have on my doodle list because I was, went through a period of time where every morning was a blender morning. You know, like blend like frozen coffee and smoothies. I got a ninja. <laughs> and it, it was a good romance uh, like by the time I was done with that phase you know it was like one cent per frozen smoothie I used it so much <laughs> it still sits on my counter and then I am finishing up I think I'm gonna do some donuts and a little skillet meal I don't I don't do skillet meals that much. So I didn't do multiples. I just did eggs and bacon. Maybe if I do a point two oh I'll do hash browns and what else what else is made in the skillets? Y'all let me know in the comments if <laughs> what your your skillet meal is. My other half makes weird Easy hash browns, but this is my dream practice, <laughs> so it didn't make it in. And uh, yeah, I'm toing and froing on what I make. Oh, it's an orange slice. So I made three donuts. The one on the bottom left, it, I didn't put frosting on. I tried to do those like sprinkled donuts with just the sugar and it looks like a bagel and I'm okay with that if I hadn't said that would you have even known that it wasn't meant to be a bagel in real life and I guess that's the fun thing about being the viewer like you only see what's really there and you aren't burdened with all of the stuff that wasn't part of the original idea and I am almost closing this up, except not really. So I went to the wide angle because I'm like, okay, we're going to wrap up on, on this note with these last little things. And I was going to leave just the sticker sheet hole. And then I realized you all were never going to know that these guys were stickers. I could have just been drawn on a piece of, of uh, marker paper and... So I decided that I was going to try out a hack in addition to the drawings here. My, I had a friend who was wanting to make bumper stickers and she learned this hack where you use the self laminating pouches and make the shiny top two st stickers. But I don't have that. I just have shell paper and it works out really good. I, when I get some extra spending cash i'm gonna buy the self laminating pouches and see if i like it better than the shelf paper but shelf paper is so amazing there's this clear shelf paper which is gonna come up on screen uh 
easy liner and uh, showing you the, the directions. I don't know why. It's by Duck, and I finally realized that that's the important part. And there it is. This stuff's so great. I use it in my classroom, and I will print out labels, and I'll stick this paper on top of it. And if I don't have a child who's a peeler, have you ever been around people who, like, are sticker peelers or label peelers? Uh... I can get it to last a good half of a year before wear and tear requires me to reprint stuff and slap it back up there, which I think is an amazing length of time when you're talking about everyday use with kids. They are so hard on stuff. And uh, I think that it makes a pretty good sub and it makes it, it, since the sticker is actually so thick, it's kind of like gives you a little bit of feel. But it's nice. And here I go through and I was going to cut them out all on camera, but I, I didn't. <laughs> I decided that you understood the, the concept behind it. And I decided to go hang out with my other half instead. <laughs> but I still love you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you next time, guys. Bye.